Back to Critchley. Good pick out. Looking for Jermaine. He's unleashed Toby. Can he get a shot off? Goes back onto the left. Wants it on his right, though. Oh, Harry Honesty's invited him inside there. Gordon. Still ha Toby. Gordon. Fast feet. It's the shot. To back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United match. Today is a special one. Today could be the day we wrap up the title and promotion to the Ishmian Premier League. It's not in our hands, though. If we win and Sudbury also win, it won't be enough. We have to better their result today. So a Sudbury draw or a Sudbury loss, along with a Hashtag win, will be enough. Today, we are playing Whitton Town, a team we know fairly well. Three wins from three games against them. We beat them 4-0 in one of the first games of 2020. Three. You may remember a special PK double goal that game, but one of them was very special indeed. They've also got Harry Honesty playing for them, someone we know very well. Hashtag Hall of Famer, of course. So it's a big one, could be a decisive one. All we've got to do, though, is keep our eye on the prize and do our job, get the win today, and we'll see where we are at 90 minutes. Let's take a look at the team that Devs has chosen. In goal is James Philp. At left back, starting today is Harry Critchley, who comes into the side. Two new centre-halves from the game 48 hours ago against Galston. Harry Hayson returns, great to see him back from injury, alongside Tom Anderson, which means Matt Waldridge moves back to right back. In midfield, Lewis Watson and PK Humble continue their partnership in the absence of Max Cornhill, still missing out through injury. Jermaine Francis moves back into the 10 role, which means Pedro Carvalho and Toby Aroma Laren are our wingers today, with birthday boy Alex Teniola up front. On the bench, that leaves Oli Miles, Iman Akunja, Greg Halford, Nathan Smith, and Wyan Reed. What a bench that is, and what a big game today is. Up the tags. Right, see the side, there's a few changes. None of it performance related. It's always going to be a case of managing the, you know, the two fixtures in, in a very short turnaround. Um, I expect them to probably have to change from what they've been as well. So we will talk about them in more detail when we see their side. Bit of pace in the forward three. They have a long throw. Out of possession, if we're at it, they won't live here. All right, and it's just about us and our intensity and the pace at which we play. It might even be that we just go a little bit direct today to see how they to start to see how they cope with it. Three points is our aim for today. We come away with the three points. Don't worry about anything else. That looks after itself. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Ref checking his watches, and we are underway here at hashtag versus Whitton, where the title could be wrapped up today if we win, and if Sudbury drop points. Come on, the lads, up the tags. Whitton though. With an early chance here, getting past PK, although the cross is into nobody. And it's going to go all the way to the other wide man, number 11, Ryan Richifond, who plays it down the line. What a touch, by the way, from Critchley. That's unreal. He's going to come forward with it now as well. He tries to switch over to PK. PK, oh, great control. first touch, by the way. And he loves a goal against Whitton. Oh, he does. We know he that. Does. Sent forward by Madden. PK to Jermaine, to Teniola. Lovely flick. One touch football finds Carvalho. I think there might have been a What's handball touch, there. The Carvalho gets it across anyway, and it's going to be a corner. But was there a handball from Igor in the build up there? I think there might have been. It's going to be Carvalho to whip one in. I smell a goal. That's a lovely I delivery. It had too much on it. But someone at the back post surely heads that home. Toby looked lively off the bench on Saturday as well. He's getting a, a start today. He wants to add to his impressive goal and assist tally. He has the most combined goals of assists of anyone this season with 10 goals and 16 assists now. Anyone in the men's team at least, the women's numbers are just an absolute joke. They don't compare at all. Sammy Rowland on 30 odd goals. Here's PK. Quick feet. Woo jinky, my jinky. <laughs> Finds Jermaine, whips it in early. Looking for 18. Oh. Almost a repeat of Saturday's heroics at Galston. PK had Harry Honesty there on absolute skates. <laughs> and I can see them two laughing about it now. But yeah, that was a joke of a move and unlucky not to find a finish off the end of that cross <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a brave man. The tricks are out today, man. Okay, Critchley's going to take this corner. Can he get his first assist for the tag? Look at all those players lined up behind the hashtag goal, waiting for the net to bulge. Oh. Tom Anderson unable to make it happen. Do you think it's affecting the lads today, the, the idea that they know they can win the league, even though it's not in their hands? Do you think it might have just added a bit of spice to the game? I'll be honest, Ben. Some of our players, they're not the smartest people in the world. They're just good footballers. I think half of them don't even know. They haven't done the maths. Yeah. They haven't done the permutations. Nice from oh. Pedro, sent his man to the shops. Back to Critchley. Good pick out. Looking for Jermaine! <laughs> Try something acrobatic. 
That's not successful on that occasion, but you've got to applaud the effort. That would have been mental. Imagine winning the league with a goal like that. <laughs> Pedro, on, Pedro, you can drive. To PK. Let's Lovely it go spray. to Matty. Did he get the call there? Matty's going to shoot. Oh, I thought he should have, you know. But he finds Teniola instead. Jermaine could be there. It's an offside flag. Should Matty have just banged one there? Yeah, it's a, it's across the goal, though. Have you um, had the saying, um, he's him? Yeah, people usually said that about me. Oh. When it comes to uh, doing intros for videos. Uh, do you know what? I can actually agree with that. But Jermaine's also him. Great touch. Jermaine, look at Toby. Is Toby him? We'll find out now. He's going to get the ball down this right side. It's up against uh, number six, McLean. Is McLean him? Comes back to Matty Waldridge. Waldridge whips it in. Oh, oh been, my God! How's that not been dealt with at the front post? I don't know. I don't know what was going through that Whitham defender's mind, but he looked like he was going to go for it. And last minute, he just ducked out the way. Ben Murphy, you're not the only one. We actually call the pre-non-league chapter, we call it chapter one. And everything since then, chapter two or non-league. So we do divide it. I've actually, my stats are Ooh. dividing it as well. Go on then, go PK's on, just him. divided their defence with a pass here. He's unleashed Toby. Can he get a shot off? Goes back onto the left, wants it on his right though. And he's maybe ah. done too much and he's shown too much of the ball to McLean. Oh wait, but it's on it back post. Why is he hey. holding it back? He's tried to pass it, hasn't he? Oh. He's tried to pass it. I think Toby did everything right there, Spam. He should have just hit it with the left foot. Even yeah. a little toe poke. It, it would have. I think that would have gone in if he hit it with his left. And even then, the second bite of the cherry with AT, I think he should have gone for goal. He tried to be so unselfish and head it back into the mix for someone to tap in, but no one was there. I think the angle might have been deceiving for us there. I think he might have been very wide. But I think you're right. Up until Toby takes it onto his left, it's perfect from PK, perfect from Toby. Just back your left foot there, Toby. Don't mind it. All you've got to do is put a bit of power on it. You get a corner at least. Today will be a historic day for Hashtag. I can feel it up the tags. Let's hope so, Andrew. Thank you for your support, you legend. Nearly two years a member, by the way. I think he's been with us every single month. We've been running these memberships because we started it in the summer of 2021 around the Academy, last Academy series, if I remember correctly. Of course, that was won by Jake Lindsay, who's no longer at the club, but both Yoni Vukaj and Matty Waldridge also came through that series. PK. Ball, by the way, outside the foot. Lovely, Lovely pass from PK. He's having a really good game, I have to say. Toby trying to get oh past his man. Has he gone gosh. through the legs? Toby now hit with the left. goes to Jermaine instead. Jermaine left puts foot. it onto his left. Goes across to Pedro. Oh, what a goal that is. Toby what could have hit goal. it. He passed it. Jermaine could have hit it. He passed it. Pedro hit it. And it's found the back of the net. Wow. Fair play. I don't know what that skill move was from Toby. But I think it nutmegged uh, the defender. I'm not, I I'm not so. sure. I don't know how he did it. Then I thought Jermaine was going to shoot. He didn't. And Pedro, who's been on the deck three times in the last minute, has got himself up. <laughs> He's found the top right-hand corner. What ninth, a goal. Ninth goal of the season for Pedro Carvalho. 11th assist of the season for Jermaine Francis. He's breathing down the neck of Toby. He's on 16 assists and currently the assist leader so many goals so many assists coming from a myriad of players at this club but as things stand we are one nil up and Sudbury are nil nil if it stays like this we've got a title and promotion to celebrate Tom Anderson finds Toby the man who didn't get the assist for the goal but let's face it played a huge part in it and Harry honestly has invited him inside there go on then. still ha Toby go on then. fast feet it's the Whoa! shot oh it's a save it's got to be a save from oh, Reese Madden what Madden's. a save oh my gosh this is like an absolute steam train. Like once Harry honestly opened his body up and invited Toby inside, Toby just went with it. He beat one, he beat two, he beat three. Got a really good shot off as well, which was probably going to find that left-hand corner. But it's a great save, man. Question mark to be asked as to whether Harry's a, a, an undercover hashtag spy after letting Toby <laughs> in there. Oh, is that an own goal? Oh. It was so close. It was headed away by a Whitham player. Hey, and Ellis, Ellis Devereaux there getting absolutely sent. <laughs> I thought it was in as well, to be fair. It was headed away by a Whitton defender for another corner. So Pedro is going to whip this in. That's better. Back post. Who's there? Oh, it's in! It's in! <laughs> I don't know how much he knew about it, but I think Tom Anderson did get the final touch after a touch from the keeper, a touch from the post maybe as well. But it's 2-0 to the tags. That's what really matters. Now you can celebrate, Ellis. That whip was an absolute joke, by the way. It missed every single player, but the man following it in, Tom Anderson, it's what he does. It's come, I think, off the crossbar somehow. Yeah, it's hit some I don't know how work. it's come off the crossbar on its way down, but it has. It's hit Tomo on the head. He's just put himself in the right place at the right time, and it doesn't matter how they go in. But he has got a touch on it this time. We can't. You didn't give him, we didn't give him the goal in the end a few weeks ago, and it yeah, was actually, true. You know, the big one against Coggeshaw. It was an own goal, but that is a Tom Anderson goal. It's a Pedro Carvalho assist, which means he's got a goal and assist today, Pedro. But more importantly, he's turning off the tags. Carvalho. On the free kick, can he get another assist? Looking for Lewis Watson. Oh, but Tom oh. Anderson was there as well. And 
you wonder if if the Lewis jump might have obscured his vision a bit. Matty Waldridge, looking for Toby. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> These two are linking up like nobody's business. Matty looking for Jermaine as well. He's going to get involved. Goes back to Toby. The triangles on display are beautiful. Lewis Watson. Oh! Yes! The Come captain, on! the skipper, the Greek god himself, Lewis Watson, with the third of the match. What a lovely, lovely strike. And you know what, Spen? There is nobody on that pitch today who deserves it more. Lewis Watson, he had one disallowed on Saturday. And that strike, I don't even think the keeper dived. And it just nestled into that near post. Oh, that it was beautiful. It couldn't be more in the corner. That you didn't need beautiful. to hit it hard if you're going to hit the side netting. And that is what the skipper did. Well done to him. He was denied a goal on Saturday from his header from the corner. It was deemed to have gone off of the pitch, but you can't deny him that one. Well done, Lewis. And a great example in patience because he's had to wait this season for his opportunity. He found himself out of the team for injury and the form was so good, he couldn't get back in. But Max Cornell's injury has given him a chance and he's taken that chance. Well done to you, Lewis Watson. Goes about his business very well, I think, Harry Critchley, doesn't he? Yeah, and do you know what the scary thing is? He's not even at full fitness. Is he not? No. He's not been playing a lot of minutes, to yeah. be fair. Pedro, over to Toby. Matty Waldridge is up there, by the way. Toby against Harry Honesty. Dinks it in. Headed away Good by Ige. Oh, hey! that's late. That's very late. We'll take that. Now, we haven't got any lefties on there. Hasem's only lefty on the pitch. And, oh, Critchley, actually. <laughs> oh, Critchley. Does Critchley fancy for himself free kick? Or Harry Hasem. <laughs> I don't think Hasem will take it, will he? <laughs> Critchley, Jermaine, Carvalho, PK, all standing over this, pondering. Critchley's getting ready to do some sort of twerk by the looks of things. <laughs> PK's there. He's not going to take it, surely, Critchley. Is he going to lay it off? Oh, it's moving in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> the I think it's all part of the routine. The, 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 um, yeah, someone's got a leaf blower out there. The Wit and War complaining. I don't know what you can do about the wind. I don't know what the keeper could do about that one. I was just getting ready in case he went in. <laughs> I'll put that one in the trailer or something. Yeah. <laughs> the anticipation. Matty Waldridge might hit one. Honestly, just bang it. You've got the wind with you, Matty. Oh, so you, you've gone too close now. <laughs> just take a shot. Jermaine will pick it up instead. Bang. Tries a left-footed chance. There's too many white shirts there. Honestly, Matty can hit them. It's not clear properly, though. Good from Lewis, who's just an absolute diamond. Toby, up against McLean. Ooh. Goes through his legs again. Doesn't get it back the other side. Hey, that's so cheeky, man. So cheeky. Got about 10 seconds left of the half, I think, before the ref will blow his whistle. And there it is. 3-0 to the tags at half time. We cannot be any happier with that performance. And hopefully it stays like that in the second half. All eyes, though, on the Sudbury Coggeshall game, which as it stands is nil-nil. And as things stand, we will be crowned champions and promoted at the end of this game. Please keep it going. I think the first 15, 20 minutes are going to be vital for us. If we stay solid and stay bright and keep, keep possession, stay on the ball, then they'll, they'll die out. If we give them any sniff, they'll go for it. Be very careful of square balls. In the, in the conditions, yeah, where, where we can avoid playing square balls, we avoid playing square balls. We play forward when we can. Like, we don't know what's going to come from them. Like, it might be change of formation, change of personnel, but something, they will have to do something. We've got to stay disciplined, stay focused, make the right decision. Decision making is absolutely key. And where we can avoid giving them opportunity to put the ball in the box, we do that. Don't get too deep. On the, on the first balls because they'll carry through. We've got more in us. We keep going, keep going. Still a lot to do, still a lot of work to do. And we are good to start as PK plays it back to Harry Hasem. The second half has started. And yes, it is still nil-nil as things stand against Sudbury, uh, in Sudbury against Coggeshall. So we're looking good. Pedro gets the ball. He got a goal and assist in that first half. He's looking lively. We come back to Tom Anderson, of course, scored a goal. Today on his 64th appearance for the tags. Cross comes in for Matt Waldridge low. Almost makes it across to AT. But he's cleared and it will come back to hashtag here. PK still with the ball. Let's Hasem send it forward. Tenioli will win this. He's done enough here to feed him. Pedro, can you burst away with pace here? Got Toby to his right. Oh, what a pass that is. There's an offside flag against uh. him though. I'm not sure it was. It looked tight to me. Toby looked to pick out AT at the back post for another assist, but 
The linesman says no. Is that offside for you? I we, The general consensus over here is no, which is a bit of a shame because we seem to have lost a little bit of momentum at half-time, so that would have been good to get us right back in it. Jermaine can turn. Finds PK. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh that's, yes. that's bad. That's off the ground, no? That was naughty. He knew he wasn't going to get there. It's Liam whips with that challenge on PK. It would be a frustrating player to play <laughs> against. Uh, for things like that as well, <laughs> as what he does on the ball. PK can get, win this one as well. He's being pulled back, ref. It takes two or three men to pull him back, I think. Jermaine, look, great turn. Look at him bursting into space. He's got Toby to his right. He finds him. Toby's got loads of options to cross it in at. Oh, it almost makes it cross. They get away with it. Uh, I don't think there is a can. That's a Sudbury question. I don't think they do live streams or anything like that. So the only way to watch that game would be to be there. Technically, the only way you could watch them both would be to be at Sudbury and be a member. And you could watch this on your phone. But um, Is anyone doing that? That's may nice. Maybe. Maybe. Carvalho on the ball. Goes back to Jermaine. Lovely little... Go on, Jermaine. The skies passes. Leave Richard Fon for dead. And he might hit one here. Jermaine Francis! Yes! Oh, my God! The man is Come a on. wizard! Hang on. He's I said you wouldn't see some magic from him. I called that. You did, indeed. Come on, Jermaine. And this man can do no wrong in a hashtag shirt. You do have to wonder how much longer he'll be in one because he has been fantastic in this second half of the season. And we love Jermaine. We do. It's another goal to add to his tally. It takes him to 11, sorry, 13. It takes him to 13 goals wow. for the season. 11 assists. He's in double figures for both. Come and on, hashtag. Come on, Coggershaw. He's made that himself out the turn as well. You know, everything's going fantastically well for us today. Yeah, as it's just been pointed out, even if he doesn't win the league today, he's done wonders for the goal difference again, just further extending it away from them. Come on, Toby. Toby. Oh, weaving through Ooh, the box. Still, still got going. it somehow. Jermaine now finds Pedro. Can he add to his impressive... One goal and two assists for this game. Still Pedro. Jermaine. PK looking back for Jermaine. Surely not another. Can he get it across Jermaine? Nice. Waldridge! Oh. Oh. Matty Waldridge in the box from right back. Tell you what, that was such a good play from Jermaine. Pedro, love it. AT to PK. Lovely link up between the two. Players looking for Toby. Come Great on, Toby. first touch. Toby could make Finish. it five. Ooh. Oh, it's a good save from Reese Madden there. She's got in the way. Critchley's back Ooh. pass is not ideal. Giving it straight to the number 11. He does make we up for it with it. not Twice. one, but two challenges. Harry Critchley, take a bow, my son. Oh, I love a challenge like that. He might have hurt himself, <laughs> though. Oh, no. Could be an ankle breaker, that one. He's, he's up. right, he's up. Oh, um, stay, like stay down, mate. Stay down. He's AT on the ball. He's our top goal scorer in the men's team this year. Well, Jermaine is chasing him, and here he is. Jermaine on the ball. Assertive first touch onto his left side. He's got Pedro to his right. Weaving back on the left foot. Not his favoured side, and it does go off. Nathan. Smudger Smith. PK. Lewis. God, Ooh, does well turn. in the end after a heavy touch. Can shoot. he shoot for his second of the game? Surely not. Goes to Pedro instead. Can he get a second of the game? Carvalho thinking about it. Ooh. Oh, Reese Madden could do nothing but parry it to Toby, who I cross think that's a shot if I'm honest. If it goes in now, it's a cross. Nathan Smith finds Pedro. Hashtag just dominating proceedings here. Good jump from Lewis Watson. Finds Ollie Miles to Toby. Toby for Jermaine in behind. How's your touch, Jermaine? He's still got it somehow. Oh, oh. it's good defending from Kammer. PK, he's got two of them he's chasing. Matthews, out to Pegram. The man on loan from Leighton Orient, puts it in low. Corner for Whitton. I mean, fair play to Whitton. They've not given up, have they? They're still battling for every ball. Oh, and they might but have a chance here. Harry Hastings clearance has been bounced off of uh, Pegram. He's been lively for them. Oh, it's a great ball into an area. Oh, and you have to say, what he did. Ramaya Mills should be doing better than that. And he's taking set pieces as well. Corner comes in for Whittam. Lewis Watson. Hit on the edge. Oh, deflected. Waldridge gets oh, to it. Phil save. gets something on it. And again. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. What a uh, mess. Mess at the back. Jermaine's tried to get an off-the-line clearance, which would have been his second in two games. He has got a touch on it, but it won't be an own goal because it was very much going in. Yeah. So I think it's a goal for 
potentially the big lad centre back who hit that one. It's a shame we were talking about goal difference. Yeah, the clean sheet's gone. As things stand, the goal difference will be exactly the same in terms of the difference between us and Sudbury, both improving their goal difference by three. It is a goal for Whittam, a consolation though, surely, as uh, hashtag will put this to bed now. Sent forward. Ooh. That's a good battle, you know. Touch. PK, see you later, down the line. Oh, Ooh. it's a bit late there. And feet off the floor. And he's he hurt himself he in the process. He was tangled up with Pedro, but then managed to get something off PK. Good header from Anderson towards uh, Jermaine. Greg. Oh, Greg's back pass has been intercepted. It's careless. It's gone straight to Pegram, who could shoot himself. Hey, some an important block, though. Corner for Whitton. Let's, not, let's keep this goal difference, at least. Cleared at the front post by Jermaine. Ref is going to blow up for the final whistle. It is a 4-1 win for Hashtag in the end. Not enough to win the league, unfortunately, because Sudbury have won their game as well. So it's going to go another game. But we're looking very good. We need one more point to clinch the title. Alex, what did you make of today's encounter? I thought it was a really good game. It was really exciting. We had definitely more positive chances than them. And I think going forwards, it's all in our hands now. Indeed. And we've got a UFL player of the match voted by for our live members. Uh, four nominees. Jermaine got 17% of the vote. PK and Lewis got 26 and 24% of the vote. But 33% of the vote went to Pedro Carvalho, who got a goal and two assists. So the Portuguese man has got himself the UFL player of the match. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check out the post-match reaction. The link below on the Hashtag United Extra channel. You can see the league table. You can see how close we are. Hopefully we'll see you on Saturday for another game to win the league and win promotion. Up the tags.